Our core business is, of course, making money. We at Tuptons have a long and noble tradition of surviving not on our deposits, but on our wits. You working hard? Oh, you know, flat out. Well, I guess you're a 24-7 type of guy. 24 hours a week, seven months a year. That's me. Please describe yourself in three words. Hardworking, numerate, and upper class. I made money the old-fashioned way. I married it. Charles! Oh, hello. You don't have any banking qualifications? No, not at all. Have you heard of Nergistin Gas? No, should I have? Please buy me 200 million shares. Are you sure, sir? Of course I'm sure. I know these things. The gas explosion was, say experts, the equivalent of two Hiroshima nuclear blasts. How bad is it? Nergistin Gas is down 75%. Are you in control or not? I can't have lost all of Penny's money. You shall kill me. Congratulations, Charles. You've broken the bank. Darling, you seem a little out of sorts. What makes you say that? Wait! Oh, no. Carry on. The golf club's worth more than the porcelain dog. They tricked me! It was you! I never want to see you again. A room full of sadness. Richard Grinding, Interglobal. If you ever want to sell a Tuftons. The Yanks. They are about to buy Tuftons for a song. 200 proud years of history gone in the blink of an eye. Are you actually going to do it? She's hooked up with her new big shot American banker boyfriend. What are you doing? I thought I had pepper spray, but it looks like I'm just going to have to stab you in the eye with a tampon. Penelope Tufton, why aren't you running this bank? I'm really getting a good grinding now, aren't I? Maybe you need one. Though I have been so dense, light would bend round me. Woof, woof. You may not be the stupidest man I know, but when that man dies... <laughs> not sure I catch your drift. If you really want something in life, you have to learn to fight for it. To, to get Mum back, you've got to get the bank back. Who said anything about wanting her back? I'll think about it. Sorry? Fly, fly, what I really need is your trousers. Do you believe you have a ladder in your tights, Sophie? It isn't a ladder, Graham. It's a star to heaven. Huh. No, it's definitely a ladder. What do we want? A bed! A bed! Where's armed security? When do we want it? Now! Glad we've cleared that up. I forgot that banking could be so absorbing. Let's sure sell these babies! Why? What was it Churchill said? If you're going through hell, keep going! Osgardo! Thought you might need rescuing. My bank. They liked you better when you were funny. Ugh. What are you doing with him? I'm not taking you back, Charles. Oh, God, what's taking you so long? Finally! What's your job exactly? I'm a phone prostitute. <laughs> You're joking. Said he had a lot of imagination. That's fantastic. He was more like an artist painting on a beautiful canvas. Touch of class, baby. Touch of class. Touch of class. <laughs> Certain people in life have this aura around them. Sinatra had it. Elvis Presley had it. And it did just ooze from him. Best thing you're my face. I know you're nervous, but I'm too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. St. Andrews, 84. The best moment of my career. I thought it was a good idea to stamp that forever in my arm. <laughs> Remember, Sev, you're the best. <laughs> no balls, no clubs, no money, nothing. I need something of money, Luis. Sev, it's okay. And the more difficult are the things, the more you try. In my mind, I always dream and I always visualize myself become a champion. Oh, and the young Matador is absolutely delighted. He said, the one with the biggest heart will win. I thought, well, you mean you, no? <laughs> Life is like sport. You have to fight every day. The key is never give up. Coming into the Masters, my father was sick. I was on the 17th, Seve hit it in the water have it in my heart because I didn't win for my father. Because they're the youngest of four brothers and you always had to prove yourself to do the three.
As human beings, we all know we're gonna die, but you never think it's gonna be today. I had never heard anything like that before. I said my prayers. I asked God to take care of my son. This just can't happen. Unless somebody tells me to stop or I actually die, I will be Will Shelley's man. All my life I've been searching for something, something never comes, never leads to nothing, nothing satisfies, but I'm getting close, closer to the prize at the end of the rope. Eddie Hall, he's got it. Definitely in the top like, two or three guys in the world. He is like the next generation of strongman. You know, he dates strongman um, to a whole other level. He's a character. So violently strong. <laughs> HTV mechanic, Monday to Friday. It's a pretty simple job, but it's hard graft heavy. He's always been a tall, quite muscly lad. Um, and then as a teenager, really came into his own once he started doing weights. My, my mum's a swimming teacher. She spurred me on to get, get into swimming. That led into swimming clubs. There's one coach who um, he drilled it into me. You train hard, work hard, you can, you can win things. He took me to my first nationals. I won. I blew everyone away. I went to my second national. I blew everyone away. When I was growing up, my hero was Arnold Schwarzenegger. From like five years old, I remember watching his, you know, The Terminator and films like that. And I, I remember saying to my mum and dad, "I want to look like that one day." I think the first time I bench pressed, I was like benching 140 kilo. I'm a, you know, never touched a better weight in my life. In an average week of training, I'll, uh, I'll probably put in at least four sessions a week, you know, just solid weightlifting. I'm in the gym, I work hard, I go to train. You know, I go when I lift big fucking weights. And my daily intake of food usually equates to about 10,000 calories, half a kilo of carbs, Three, four hundred gram of meat and steaks and chicken, porridge, little flapjack, protein shake, yeah, beef jerky, uh, a couple of poached eggs on toast, banana, an apple, an orange, a bit more beef jerky, a green tea, rice, pasta, a couple of bags of crisps, a sandwich, a steak, chips, chicken, pasta. I'll get up for a piss in the middle of the night and I've got food by the side of the bed. You know, so people either love him or hate him. It's the sort of personality he is. And just funny like me, you know, he, he doesn't take much seriously. If man needs a name, needs a face, Ed all's got that, he's got all that, he ticks the boxes. I've known Ed since he was like 19 years old. <laughs> Can't believe how, how good he's gotten, you know? The, the only Brit that's probably got the potential to win worlds, in all honesty. The world stage, Eddie's going to be one of them. Sojourners, Bradshaw. You know, I, I try to offer him, obviously, as much advice as I can, but, you know, he's, he's made huge strides. I worry about Eddie when he's in competition. Obviously, it's, it's not the safest sport in the world. It puts a lot of pressure on the body. He's obviously always trying to push himself that little bit harder, and that scares me, but I have to let him do it because if I don't, he's not going to be happy. 461 kilo, world record deadlift. I would have left my arms on that bar before I would have lost that event. You know, I've trained strongman for 10 years, but I've never made the load of the bar. I'm just hoping one day it pays off just for that one special moment where I'm handed a trophy and, and hopefully all my problems will go away. Now if you load your rifle right and if you fix your bed it's so Yeah. 
every time this, the people see those guys moving this huge amount of weight, I mean, they go crazy. Congratulations, and I hope you say, I'll be back. Oh, you won't believe in it anymore. It's an illusion. It's an illusion.